everybody and welcome to the Camel.co Selling Like Hodgie series. Wow, well, we're in the home stretch now, ladies and gentlemen, kids, cats and dogs. What we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about handling objections. Da -da -da -da. But actually, we should have some scary music in the background. Ooh. Because, you know, objections are where people say no. All right? So, you've, you've done this magnificent qualification, they love you, you've, you've, you know, you've had them hugging you and it's all good and you've had lunch and dinner with them, you've gone to visit the family, you've picked the kids up from school, you've presented, you've demonstrated and everything's there and all of a sudden, no, nah, they say no, right? This is the time, kids, that separates the boys from the girls, the men from the women and it's set you on the road. This can be the stop sign on the road to a sale, or it can be the give way, let's go, it's all going to come to an end and we're going to be happy and make money and the customer's going to be smiling if you can do this bit, handling objections. Now, the key to handling any objection, notice I, I'm not saying overcome, I'm not saying run away, you've got to handle them, right? People will say no, all right? No one's just going to lay down all the time and say, oh, there you go, take my money, right? They, they might say no abruptly, but there'll be a no about something, right? And, you know, you might, might have missed something where right, they're not exactly happy with it. Or they, you might have not qualified them correctly that they're the decision maker and they've got to talk to the butcher, baker, candlestick maker, cleaner, their wife, uncles, aunties, tribunal, presidents, right? <laughs> I've heard so many excuses, right? But the thing about an objection, as I said from the start, You'll get objections if you don't qualify properly, right? If you don't ask the right questions at the start, you will get objections somewhere in the road to a sale. So you've got to be able to, to look at them and get excited because if you can handle these, well, guess what? They're going to buy a website. So get it. So I personally, when people say no, I'm so happy, all right? I sit back and go, your beauty, Hodgie is close to a deal here, and it gives me something that I can handle it, confirm that it's gone, make them happy. So, how do you handle an objection? Well, basically, you're re-qualifying, because remember, it's something you forgot to ask, it's something that you forgot to write down, it's something that you forgot to uh, put into the website, it's something you forgot during their presentation, it's something you don't know about because you didn't ask, okay? That's the problem. So what you gotta do when people turn around and say no, or you know they throw up a, an excuse or a reason not to move forward, and they wanna reappoint, see you another day, I'll call you, send you an email, text message, carry a pigeon, whatever, right? You've got to handle them, folks. You've got to get excited, and it's time to put on the big boy and girl pants and get ready. So how do you do it? Okay. It, it is a, a system, again, of requalifying. So basically, you're asking questions. But what you must do, you must truly identify that that is an objection. Okay? So if he turns around and says something like he or she, Right? If they turn around and say, you know what, I'm not really happy about the pink and purple spots. Mr. Customer, Mrs. Customer, so what you're telling me is you're not happy about the pink and purple spots. Can I just ask you, is it the colour of the pink and purple spots? Is it the shape of the pink and purple spots? What exactly is it you're not happy about with the pink and purple spots? Can you tell me that, please? So what you've done is you've identified there's an objection, you've acknowledged it, you've turned around and then asked the customer, what really is the problem? So what are you doing? You're re-qualifying them, right? And then they'll turn around and say, they'll give you what's truly wrong. They'll say, well, actually, I thought it was going to be grey with sparkles, and you've given it to me blue with none. I'm so sorry about that. So what I've got to ask you, Mr. Customer, is, if I can get that fixed, and it's a really simple change, there's no reason why we couldn't move forward. Do you understand what I'm saying? And when they turn around and say, that's fine, you move forward. 
Understand you cannot move forward until you have buried, got rid of, had a funeral for the objection. Okay? So the moment you, you clarify it, you acknowledge it, you throw it back and re-qualify, you get them to give you the truth, then once that's dead and buried and you've had the funeral and everyone's gone to the wake, then you can move on to continue on your presentation. They might turn around and say, hey, I'm really unhappy about the price. Hey, fantastic, unhappy about the price, at least they're considering it. And then you just turn around and say, you know what, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, I must have missed something. Uh, when you say you're not happy with the price, can I just ask you, was it less than you expected? Was it more? Which part about the price are you not happy with? And then they have to give you the real truth. What is the real objection? Because you're qualifying them again. So you see what the system is? It's acknowledging, accepting, getting them to tell you that's the real problem. And then re-qualifying with questions back to the customer. Get them then to give you the truth and then acknowledge, well, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Jones, if we can make an adjustment on that price, is there any reason we can't move forward today? No. Then you can move forward. But if they then turn around and say, well, there's a couple of other things I'm not happy with, fantastic. When you say there's a couple of other things, can I ask you, what are those things? Let's handle them one by one, right? We've got rid of the price, you're happy with that, aren't you? Now let's look at the next bit. Can you see what I'm saying? It's a matter of acknowledging, accepting, re-qualifying, get the customer to give you the information, then acknowledging that it's dead, buried, had a funeral, and then you can move on. It's that simple on how to overcome and handle an objection, right? Just talk it through, re-qualify, and do not be afraid, because unfortunately, this is the time when people are a bit scared, but I showed you today, there's nothing to be scared of. It's just a matter of, you know, I was taught by a boss that you've got to, don't listen to the thir first 13 no's. After that, then you can start to think about it. But I just, it's like duck uh, in a water that, you know, just rolls off your back, right? So get excited, acknowledge them, accept them, re-qualify, get the customer to uh, give you the information, fix that, have a funeral, go to the wake and move on to that next road and part of the sub. Okay, thanks very much. It's Shane from the Camel.co, selling like Hodgie. Don't forget, click there, subscribe, and uh, Camel.co, major fulfillment partner for Duda. Look forward to talking to you next week. So yeah.